Hey beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel Cyrus Creations and I trust God you all are doing great. Today I'm here with another sewing project which is very interesting, it's very easy to make and all the tips and techniques are very easy to follow. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a koftan which we are making out of a scarf but you can use any kind of fabric to create this beauty. Koftan you can wear on a parties, nightwear, or even a beat wrap. This koftan which I'm wearing, I'm gonna show you full, just taking a couple steps back. This one is made out of a scarf, and as you can see, it's turned out very pretty. I have created a fitting loop in the center, so all the fitting area should be gathered in the center, so you shouldn't feel too much bulkiness and all you just have extra fabric on the side. I just love this fabric. This is a full hand embroidery and we have used a pom-pom lace, uh, matching lace to just to create extra beauty with this. This scarf was gifted by my friend Gurnav. She had this from tw over 20 years from India and I have almost like a, over five years. So I thought now it's time to create something special out of that scarf and i'm just loving finishing look before heading down to this sewing project if you're new to cyrus creations just go ahead and subscribe you're gonna learn her sewing cooking and every projects if you are already a regular subscriber i'm sure you already enjoying all those wonderful projects over here so let's go ahead and start it here i have this gorgeous scarf for our captain and the measurements are perfectly for my height length and wide i like it that's the original fitting from center but i gonna um leave uh, four inches extra hand so our captain should be loose i will create a center loop for fitting for adjustable and we have these gorgeous uh, pom-pom lace and i'm glad we don't have um gray color on a side so that will be perfect give a con contrast on a sides with this gray okay and for this project mostly i will use a uh, thread and hand needle because this is pretty lightweight fabric and i don't want it to get messed up with the sewing machine especially with all the beading it's going to be hard and if i show you the back all the embroidery in this scarf is a hand embroidered so we have to use carefully and if i see any tender bender <laughs> with the embroidery you know so i just gonna simply fix with the this fabric fuse glue you know so we can just make our project quicker so just fold it in a half your uh, any scarf and you can see we already have a divided line here that's just a top binder they put uh, on a top but the actual fabric from back and front is the same panel. So simply I'm just going to cut from center like a five to six inches to just to have an opening. And then we will put this scarf on our mannequin and then take the rest of the measurements. Here's I add pin from a six inch distance. That's our center three inches divided on both sides. And simply I'm just going to use a thread cutter and uh, gently going to cut along the side this binder and we will make sure we are protecting all the threads embroidery threads with the fabric glue so in that way we don't mess with the our uh, embroidery and i will see the front or back i want to keep this a straight binder okay but maybe on the other side i can uh, do the v neckline or around or i will see if i just want to keep it simple Okay, so let's go ahead and start cutting. So here I was ended up uh, opening uh, one and a half inch more, one and a half inch more on a side. So total I have opened like a nine inches from um, neckline. And as you can see, it's looking already clean edge, you know, with this binder. So I'm not worried about that. But for a back, so that's our back. 
what I'm going to do that's our center just going to take like uh, five inches or six inches mark and create like a v-neck line and just going to cut from center and fold that inside from V and I can use these pom-pom for this okay uh, the lace and it's depending I can use this for front or the other neckline for front we can flip it we have a flexibility and simply I'm just going to add pins from the sides will be opening like a 10 inches to 12 because koftan is supposed to be more open from um, sleeves and then we will be stitching okay so let's cut the neckline so I mark my pin for uh, six and a half inches and there's more chances to open more you know uh, once I have a cut then I will find out more okay so that's our center make sure you have the both sides on the center and simply it's pretty quicker DIY I can use scissor for this bead or maybe I should remove this one so we can use this one where it's missing okay and here we are okay now simply we're just going to tuck this inside and don't worry about the extra fabric we will be cutting off after removing the after adding the lace so just go ahead and use your lace with the hand needle or with the sewing machine or uh, if you have a fabric glue simply will be using something like this okay see that it's already coming together so I'm just going to do quicker for saving our time it's pretty easy use whatever method is easy for you to get done this project spiritual nip and tuck i have come to the point in my spiritual growth that i believe strongly that if my physical body is important to God, it should also be important to me. So here, all the lace is done all around the scarf. I just have an add fitting. Uh, I just have an add pins for armhole, which I'm gonna keep like a ten inches wide because I'm gonna use a lining on the bottom. And uh, if you see the pin in the center that's the mark i want to have um, the buttonhole or a hole for uh, using our string i have it two binders for one for back one for front and the length is yeah equal to the fitting lines we're gonna create you know from here to here and we definitely will be leaving like a half inch side just to uh, you know, so the binder stay inside, not outside. Okay, so rather than uh, using a hole here, I'm gonna make a hole here by removing this sparkly. So in that way, we can stay according to z design in a center. Okay, so that's the plan. And I have this uh, uh, double piece of fabric just gonna place here and I will stitch in a circle and then make a cuts from a side or inside of side and then we will be flipping this patch outside in to create a beautiful hole we could use a button hole you know to create those holes but since this fabric is very lightweight you know so we don't want mess around so let's go to sewing machine and we're going to create a buttonhole god owns our bodies they are not ours the body of a believer is to be used for god's glory 
The way we talk and our behavior should reflect positively on him. 1 Corinthians 6.20 talk about that. Facelifts and such are not specially banned, but make sure vanity and pride are not the roots of your desire. Concentrate on becoming physically fit and active. Find something you can do with your husband or your friends. And while you are out there exercising, keep your eyes and ears open for opportunities to share your faith in Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, make me over in your image. I want to become more like you every day. In everything I do, I want to honor you. In Jesus' name, Amen. You see how nicely they look. Are we just going to stitch little on a side and our hole is fine and then we will start adding a binder. Yes, I just have a pin pin up the binder and it's on the top of the hole. We are going to leave opening from both sides and exactly same length binder we're going to use on our back side as well. And here we will be doing our uh, fitting stitches. So let's head to sewing machine and finish in those binders and then I will be back. So here I have a ear string. I will be protect from the edges. But the only thing is left just as hand sew around the side. I have a leave opening like a 8.5 inches to 9 inches and the for bottom as well. I want to have a... A little side open but the rest I'm just going to hand stitch on this border and our project will be done thank you so much for watching our today's sewing project as you can see we have created this gorgeous kaftan and this one is a party special but I'm already planning to use a simple fabrics to create a beach wraps this project was so much fun and any beginner can try that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't get inspired by our today's sun project, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about sewing, cooking and daily projects. I love you all. God bless you all. Be safe wherever you are and have always a abundant life. Bye-bye.